What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Huh? You left Homer out. Left Homer out? We're about to leave, but I guess I left Homer outside. If he's outside, the back door would be open. Your parents can let him in. I've done that the past few days. I just let them know. But Abby and I are about to... She's watering her plants, but we're about to get in the U-Haul and we're going to head and look at uh, washer and dryer and then do some other stuff. Be on the sunflower. It's kind of blurry. Oh. So Abby and I got our new washer and dryer. They're new to us, but they are pre-owned, but they're pretty awesome. And now we're at Big Lots and we're gonna look at couch, maybe some other stuff. I'll show you guys the washer and dryer once we come back out because it's all locked up in the U-Haul. So we found this one. I really like this. This would be for the game room, not for the living room. Uh, we're not gonna buy it right now because we're, you know, we gotta decide, but it's 700, not too bad. The only problem is it's a three person couch and I really wanted to get a four person couch so that we can all, you know, four people can sit there and play. What's cool about this is it's got a light and you bring this down, got cup holders, and it's got all these plugs right here, which is awesome. But like I said, it's only, only a three person setup. So I took pictures of it so that we can keep it in mind. And it's also got cup holders on each end and both ends recline as well. Um, so it's like perfect for what I want other than it only being, you know, a three person couch, not a four person couch. So we're gonna keep looking. This is the only one they have here where the middle pulls down and has cup holders, which is what I want. So we're gonna keep looking. We are going to get this little TV stand here for the living room, not the game room, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's got the little rolling doors. So this will be nice. It'll be perfect for the, for the living room, but we didn't find a couch. Nope because they're not comfortable. But there's a place right down the road, another furniture store. So we're gonna go check that out. So we were leaving Big Lots, came out here, opened up the U-Haul to put the stuff in. This, somehow, it was way over here and it broke the little zip tie thing. It wasn't tightened enough or whatever. I never even used it because we have our own. And it dented our brand new, is this a dryer? Yeah. It dented the dryer right here. That sucks, but I mean, anyway, these are this is our new washer and dryer here. We're getting a stacking kit to, to stack them, so it takes up less room because it has to go in the game room, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that sucks. And you know, U-Haul's gonna charge us for using this because the thing's cut, which we didn't use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to talk to him and be like, hey, this thing came undone and like dented our, our new dryer. That sucks, but all we ended up buying here were new curtain rods. Got these. There's curtains in here. There's like little brackets and stuff. Um, yeah. Couple snacks, and then this is for the store. This goes for about eight bucks. Cool. So we're gonna go to uh, furniture place. Hopefully, find a couch or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the entertainment center we were looking at. They do not have any in stock at either Big Lots in Vancouver and they don't have any like like planned for shipment or anything he's like you can pay for it now and pick it up when it comes in but i don't know when it'll be and we we're just like eh, we'll just keep looking so we didn't find a couch here or a tv stand but we found this <laughs> this is a little stool you can lift the seat up so there's storage underneath and it's got like a coat rack thing on the back this isn't even something we were looking for but it is something we had kind of like talked about um there's a closet right at the entryway of the house and we're gonna do the whole no shoes in the house thing and we were like well we don't really just want shoes like surrounding the entrance but there is that little closet and the closet is awkward like the yes. door opens this way and then the closet opens out and they kind of just like clash so we were so. thinking of I, I saw a picture online we were thinking about taking the door for the closet off and then having this in the closet there's some there's, there's room on the on the right side of it for storage and everything still, but this will just be a nice little place where you can kind of just like sit down real quick to put your shoes on before you leave, and then we also have the coat racks up top, so it'll be pretty cool, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be nice. Um, so 
but there is a furniture store right across the street which we're gonna check out. Hopefully we can find a couch. So we are back at the house now, not our not our new house, we're at the old house. Um, and Abby has an appointment, so she's getting ready right now. We bought a couch, it is in the truck, it is still brand new in the box, which is why we're not showing it to you guys yet. We'll show it to you later today once we get it all unloaded. The couch we bought today is the couch for the game room, not for the living room. We were looking for the living room couch first because that's the one that will be set up first. So this couch, I think we are going to put it in the living room at first. And then once the game room is set up, which is going to be weeks, you know, um, and then we will get the couch moved into there and we'll get the couch for the actual living room. But we will be showing you guys that um, later in this video. And uh, yeah, so Abby's got her appointment. I'm just going to chill for a little bit, relax. And then once she's back, we're going to load up the bed and maybe some other stuff. And then we'll make a drive to the new house and unload. And then I think we're sleeping there tonight. All right, guys, we are about to drive to the new house. We're sleeping there tonight. It's 845. We have the, the truck loaded up here, which we have to unload tonight. We have to get some stuff set up tonight. <laughs> and then move a bunch more tomorrow. And here's bringing, Homer. Bringing Homer with us tonight. The cats are staying here at home uh, because we don't really have room to bring like the cat box right now. We have like a fancy cat box that hooks up to the toilet and stuff. Um, and it needs to be deep cleaned before it, it goes. needs to be cleaned and there's really nowhere to put it right now. The back's full and we're not gonna have it up here in the cab. So we're just bringing Homie. The cats will be okay for less than 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be back in the morning. Good boy, Homer. He's clearly very excited. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna drive and hopefully do a little bit more filming. We gotta show you the couch we got. Where are you going? There's nowhere to go. The couch is super cool. Sit, sit down. All right, so we are at the house. It is 10 p.m. We've unloaded everything from the U-Haul except for the washer and dryer. We're gonna do that in the morning. And for some reason, we decided to start our first like house project, which we got this thing earlier. We showed you guys, it's a little bench and uh, coat rack thing. There is a closet right here by the front door that we, so far, we've taken the door off. It's right there behind me, you can see it. Um, and we are basically going to be leaving the door off, putting this right inside so that we have a little bench to put our shoes on. It's easy access to the shoes so we're not opening the door all the time because we'd probably do that for like the first couple of days. Then we'd probably stop, honestly. We'd probably just leave our shoes like down here, which we don't wanna do. So there's still room in the closet, you know, next to this for, we can get one of those like cube storage racks for mm -hmm. shoes or whatever we want. Um, but we've wanted to film because, you know, it's the first little project. So we're working on that here. Gotta, gotta take that out because that thing's taller than that shelf is. I don't know how we're gonna get this set up though. It doesn't have any leverage. We might have to just like bend it till it till we can get it out. But we wanted to film and at least kind of show you guys what we're doing. But we did get the couch in here. We haven't unpacked it yet, still in the boxes, but we're gonna put that together, show you guys that before we start stop the video. Comcast should have switched over our internet. Hopefully. So we, I, you know, got a, got the modem today and everything. I'm gonna be setting that up and then hopefully be able to film and upload this video for you guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just keep working. So it's in there now, guys. This pole, um, not sure how the people got it in here originally. I think they literally cut the holes in these boards, put them on the pole, put the pole in here, moved the boards to the side and, and nailed them in because we tried bending it, it will not come out. We tried twisting it, pushing it that way, pushing it that way. And we honestly were trying to break it for, for a second, um, but we were able to get this in here without having to do that. We will just cut it to get it out of here later. Um, since we're not gonna have a shelf up here, we don't really need these boards either. So I don't know if we're gonna get rid of those two. And we're gonna have to do a little bit of painting here to, you know, cover where the brackets were or whatever, the hinges. Uh, but there it is, it's in here. This comes off so you can store stuff down there. And then right over here, we can get one of those little things like I was saying where all of our shoes could go. And then of course we have hooks here to hang coats. Oh, and we also need to get a light switch plate. There isn't one there, but there is a light in here. So 
here's the front door. So when you walk in, it'll be right here and you'll be able to take your shoes off and you know, all that. And we still gotta sweep it out and everything. Um, but we don't have a broom here yet. And I need to take that off as well. This is our couch for the game room. This is our new couch. Oh God. For the game room. Abby's been doing this like terrible British accent <laughs> for like 10 minutes. <laughs> But this is the couch, and what you'll notice about it that's not standard is there are four seats, and we got very creative. That's this three of them all recline. Three of them do recline. Oh, this one, this one, and this one recline, and we have little cup holders there, and a little that thing opens. This little storage thing. This was a sectional, and we asked for a discount if we didn't take the corner piece, hey, and they gave it to us. <laughs> the sign on the business said. Do not pay retail. It said never pay never retail. Never pay retail. So we didn't. So we didn't. So I asked kind of as a joke. I was like, if we don't need the middle piece, can you give us a discount? And the lady's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> and then she went and like did some stuff on the computer and she's like, we can knock 250 bucks off for you. She asked the other lady and the other lady's like, you're the boss. And she's like, oh. And then she like got on the computer. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't take the little corner piece. Um, so we got 250 bucks off, which this, it, this couch was not cheap. So 250 bucks is not massive, but I mean, any sort of discount it's is really, really cost cool. Of tax, to be honest with you. So this, it comes apart right here. As you can see, it's not attached. We may attach it at some point. We can use like some sort of bracket underneath or something. We'll figure it out. But um, it slides really easily in here because we put these little like felt things on all the feet so it doesn't scratch up the floors. Uh, the, the game room has carpet, so it won't slide as easily. But if it starts moving apart, then we'll find some way to attach it. But this is super awesome. I wanted a really big couch so that, you know, we could have four people. But honestly, you could fit you could probably fit five or six people on this because each thing is really wide. So hey, we can easily fit five people on there, maybe six. Or just hella thick, okay? <laughs> Get out of my face. No, you have to yeah. atone for your yeah. sins. <laughs> but this is the couch, guys. It's very soft. It's like a, it was it's like, I think she said it was microfiber. So, but it's but it's very short microfiber. It doesn't feel like a microfiber cloth. The the paperwork said something about it called like it was called a microfiber soothing gel cushion. Weird. That's like what the, her official paperwork said, and it said something about it being gel something. Well, there's definitely no gel in there that I can I don't know. I can feel. Here's a little storage thing. We can put like controllers and remotes and stuff. Not a ton, but you know, and. Here's the back of it. And uh, yeah, like I said, these recline. Oh my God, that was very aggressive. It's aggressive when you're not sitting on there to give a little, a little bit of resistance, but it's super cool. You scratched the floor. What, that? Yeah. That was definitely already there. No, you did it. Either way, guys, I love it. For now, it's gonna be in the living room here. This section right here is where we're trying to get a couch for the, like an actual couch for the living room. This is just going to be here until the game room is ready because we can't put it in there right now. But I think that's probably it for today's vlog, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Homer? Good boy. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you guys can tell it's already less echoey in here because we now have the couch. The more furniture and stuff that we end up, you know, putting in here, we have curtains to put up. That'll help as well with the, the echoiness. But, you know, the more we do, the less echoey it will be. And the privacy. And there's going to be, you know, tons of stuff in the game room. So there'll be no echo in there for sure. Plus the game room's carpeted. So it's already less echoey overall. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Cheerio. <laughs>